Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2, where John Coleman, my partner, and I are going to uh, just talk about a lot of things. So, no, uh, John. We don't, all right, I beg to differ. We oh. don't just talk. Oh. We, do we yeah. opine? We have we opine with profundity. Oh yeah, we do. Whatever we say are are gems, and and you know they should be inscribed on walls. Yeah. So John, I have a question for you. What's That's the hot topic question. of the day? Hey, are you staying cool? That's that's my word for the day. Stay cool. Uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of cucumbers. Uh, they keep me cool. Yeah. What you are a cool guy. Look at that turtleneck. Mm. Come on, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. I'm gonna put a winter coat on because it's. I think it's gonna be under ninety today, and I don't want to, you know, chill my bones. Yes, but it's a dry heat. <laughs> Not here. All that, that all of the things... It's a little bit more muggy up here than it is down in in uh, your your world, but yes, it is. Uh, it, it's, it's not as muggy as it's been for the last couple of days. All the things they say about the heat and the weather. Now, we're both from New York, from the East Coast. Yeah, I, rem uh, I remember when we used to walk down uh, in uh, southern Manhattan and our feet used to sink into the tar uh, going across the street. <laughs> I think there's an AT&T building or something down in the really in the south stretches with a not too far from where the World Trade uh, Tower stood. And I remember from time to time walking across there and it, just, it would just melt under your feet. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. Sticky. I, I remember I remember walking and going on the streets of Manhattan mm -hmm. in a business suit, getting into the air conditioned high rise building where, where I was going mm -hmm. and and recognizing the sweat dripping underneath my suit. So. <laughs> It, it, the heat is different in different parts of the country. And, yeah. and south, it's it's uh, can be very oppressive the humidity. But here's the important thing: is uh, we live now in uh, 2022 in an era when the summers are getting hotter and hotter. This summer, particularly, mm. uh, they're calling for big heat waves all around the country, even in Europe. Oh yeah, even but, things like Boston have had a record highs. Uh, yeah, uh, recently. Uh, uh, and uh, I think uh, uh, we're, well, we're in the summer 22, which you indicated. I think the Pacific Northwest is now looking at record heat with yep. 100 degree days, which they just never have. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, no, never say never. Mm. <laughs> well, also until recently. So what, what's, I think what's the solution? What's the solution? Because you know what? Uh, turning on the air conditioner uh, is getting more expensive anyway. Uh, just wow. with uh, whatever we're dealing with, with, the, with the inflation and things like that. And the air conditioner may not work. I just, this morning on television, I saw the news. It says they're, they're calling for likely brownouts in California and Texas. Really? Yeah. So, you know, and of course, it wasn't it Texas that had a big, uh, a big failure of their electrical? Yeah, during career. the winter. They had one during the winter. Uh, uh, that's when... Uh, uh, their senator ran down to Cancun because he he was worried about his daughter, uh, and it just so happens that all the electricity was out in the state. Yeah, uh, yeah. wonderful politicians. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, they they had it during the winter. They just have a very fragile uh, system, and unlike us uh, uh, or in the rest of the country, they don't have a uh, a sharing with networks in their local states because they are very independent minded down there. So. They're probably going to have some particularly big problems if they ever go out. Well, California is in trouble too, according yeah. to this, this report. But here's the important thing: the important thing is that our audience, like you and I, gray-haired, profound folks, are more at risk for heat stroke and um, exhaustion and all that stuff that comes with um, uh, very heavy uh, temperatures. Hmm. Uh, and we need to take care. You need to be prepared for the fact that maybe your air condition isn't isn't going to work, um, and you need to be prepared for the fact that maybe you won't have ice cubes for a couple of days. No, or you need to be prepared for the fact that maybe it's a time to revisit uh, solar uh, energy. 
and see what I could do to at least keep the basics on the house. Well, if you live in a part of the country where solar is practical, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, it's practical. I see it going up all over the place, even in my retirement community, which they used to say no because they don't want panels on the roof, but then they also didn't let you have satellite dishes for uh, direct TV or dish. And they've yeah. changed their mind with that. They're, they're all over our community right now. And I don't really know how, you know, maybe what we ought to do, uh, John, and maybe one of our uh, audience out there has some expertise in solar energy. That might actually be an interesting uh, uh, kind of person to have on uh, to discuss with us or alternatives uh, to uh, losing electricity. There were, you know, backup generators and all. Right. Maybe, maybe we could do a session on that. Do you, do you, by the way, I noticed that for the last couple of months, there's been a commercial running on television that I say it. I've never seen it before. It's for home backup generators. I think the company's oh, called Generac. Gen Generac. Spending a lot of money on advertising. Mm -hmm. And so that that's a, a sign of the times. It's yep. the fact that um, you can't count on the electrical grid anymore, uh, to the, at least to the degree that we we once could. Mm -hmm. But you're right. It's a great idea. If, if somebody out there, if, if you or you know somebody, um, can help us tell our audience about all the alternatives to electricity when the power grid goes out, we'd love to talk to you. And, yeah. of course, I expect that it would be completely different in different parts of the country. You know, I mean, you, for instance, you mentioned... Uh, Solar. Well, I don't know that solar does you a whole lot of good in uh, uh, Minnesota. Uh, certainly in California and Florida, it's a great idea. You know. Yeah, but there are also now things like um, I, I belong to a group out actually out of uh, uh, Pittsburgh uh, that deals with with bleeding edge technology, not just in uh, energy, but in other areas as well, and food uh, alternative uh, food sources like um, uh, hydroponic hydroponic yeah uh growing of uh, vegetables and things like that uh, yeah. so um but but they have uh these wind turbines which aren't these big windmills anymore but they're sort of like little flat devices that are more like a jet engine that pick up slightest amounts of winds and they're putting on rooftops and yeah. they're generating electricity as well yeah i've heard of that. Uh, yeah so anyway we it would be interesting to find that but I think there's no question that uh, let's not get into the politics of it all. We're in a warm period of time right now, and it looks like it's going to be that way for uh, the next X number of years. And it's probably going to affect us. And we're living longer, healthier lives. So I expect to be around for uh, another uh, 20, 30 years. And perhaps it is time to look uh, to back up to uh, uh, power sources so that uh, all the things we've gotten used to, like the yeah. wonderful celebrating act two on the internet, uh, we wouldn't want that to go away and for you to lose your opportunity to watch us weekly and all our special uh, reports. So um, uh, John, uh, it is a hot topic and thank you for um, you doing this. hot here. topic, oh please, come on. <laughs> anyway, everybody stay healthy, be prepared for the worst this summer and um, mostly take care of yourself if you're older, um, recognize whatever your, um, uh, what do we call it? Your risk is. Know, right. know how much risk you are taking if you're uh, if the electricity goes out, and have some friends uh, on speed dial that you can always call and ask for help. Right. I I always call John. Hello. Hello. That. Hello. <laughs> anyway, keep cool, hydrate, and um, uh, we'll see you next week. See you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.